Ground fighter has broken through the perimeter. How soon can you meet me at the Sheridan Air Force Base? Yeah, I can take the chopper and be there inside an hour. Good. Do it. Colonel, oh, cool. what's up? Nigel, what I'm about to tell you is between you and I and no one else. Not even the President's to know. Uh, Colonel. Matter of fact, this meeting never took place. Tomorrow morning at 0900, this dog's gonna be flying around in a fully loaded, fully armed F-16 fighter jet. The President and Professor Stuckum are working together on this. They've got the backing of the Pentagon, and Washington seems to be okay with it, but I'm not. This dog's a threat to national security. Yeah. In fact, let me ask you a question. All right. Who's the first in space? Neil Armstrong. Wrong. Wrong. Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. The first in space was a dog. Dog, Colonel? That's right. 1957, Professor Stuckum led that project. I've got a bad feeling about this, Nigel. I need your help. I need this dog eliminated. All right, Colonel. I'll fly over that laboratory and drop a nine megaton bomb on it. No, don't do that, Nigel. High. Can't do that. That laboratory's ours. Mm -hmm. Professor Stuckum's research is vital to us. Mm -hmm. So we need to quietly eliminate this dog while keeping him an ally. I mean, who's to say that this dog just doesn't decide to go bomb Tokyo or London, Paris, hell, even Fresno? Tomorrow morning, 0900, that dog's gonna do a test flight. Where's he flying to? I haven't decided yet. Wait a minute. You mean you decide the flight plan? That's right. All right, Colonel. I got an idea. Let's take a rod in my chopper. Oh, where are we going? To a place I call the graveyard. What's that? You wanna get rid of that dog, don't you? Nigel, that's what this whole meeting's been about. That's right. Come on along. All right, let's go. All right, Colonel, I got you here in one piece. Yeah, barely. Well, what are we doing here at the beach? You're supposed to take me to a graveyard. This is a graveyard, Colonel. Come on, let me show you. Grab that bag for me, Colonel, will you? Look out there, Colonel. What do you see? Nothing but water. That's right. All smooth at the top, all the secrets at the bottom. Perfect graveyard for that jet flying dog. You mean a dog fight? That's exactly what I'm talking about. You have the dog come flying in from the north, I'll come flying in from the south. As soon as that dog sees me, he's gonna head out to sea. Yeah, how do you know he's gonna go out to sea? They always go out to sea, Colonel, right before I shoot him down. You know, I like that idea. That way he doesn't crash into someone's house. That's right. I'm gonna close the airspace within 250 miles, but I need a witness. All right, Colonel, here's what you do. You need a witness? You get a couple of them AWACS planes flying around. You bring up one of them nuclear submarines. Yeah. Tomorrow at 0900, I'll get dog jet here. Shoot that dog jet down. Brilliant plan, Nigel. Brilliant. Thank you, Colonel. Five million dollars. Done. I'll have the money put in your account as soon as you land. The 
don't mess this up. Mess it up, Colonel. I'm the greatest politic fly. When I get in the sky, I'm like a god up there. Only better. You ever fire a rocket, Colonel? It's magic. You have any idea what it's like? To decide whether a man lives or dies with one pull of a trigger? Come on, Nigel! Gotta get back to base! All right. only got one. Pacific Coast, you shoot that dog jet down. Piece of cake, Colonel. Professor, when we go into the control room, it's just going to be me, you, and three radio operators. I don't want any more confusion. All right, Professor, let's go over the flight plan. At 0900, dog is to take off from JPL. Fly 26 miles over land until he reaches the Pacific Coast. Now remember, Professor, this is no low flying cargo plane or putting fires out at the county fair. I certainly hope that this dog can do everything you said he can. That dog jet is to fly north. Due north, Professor. North. I am in charge here at... Okay, Professor, one more overview. Make sure we get this right. We're located here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Dog is to fly 26 miles over land until he reaches the Pacific Coast, where I have a nuclear submarine stationed there to monitor his flight. Once he makes contact with that nuclear submarine, he is to fly north. Due north. North, okay, Colonel. Brooks. Good, perfect. Perfect. All right, Professor. The flight crew is fueling the dog jet and preparing it for takeoff. Colonel Clifford and his security team are on their way up right now to escort the dog down to the tarmac. Keep in mind, Professor, this is still technically top secret until tomorrow. All right, Professor, the security team's here to get the dog. I'll meet you up in the control room in 30 minutes. Nigel, this is Colonel. The dog's going to be airborne in less than five minutes. Yeah, Colonel. Well, I'm gonna be in the air in three minutes, and when that dog jet reaches the coastline, I'm gonna barbecue that mutt. Him is to go quarter throttle and observe only. Roger, sir. Engine, quarter throttle. Six, four, 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 mayday, mayday. Sir, Nimitz submarine is reporting an F-16 coming into radar. You said the airspace was closed! It's a weather balloon. 
Flight a balloon going 400 miles an hour? All right, Professor, I lied. But that dog is a threat to national security. Get back, get, get in here, bang now. Call him off, please. He could be killed. Yeah, just a dog. Only a dog? I wasn't talking about the dog. I was talking about the F-16 fighter pilot. But are you crazy, Professor? Nimitz sub reporting F-16s in chase, sir. This dog is the greatest fighter pilot of all time. The greatest fighter pilot in the world. That is the best pilot in the world. Nigel Five. He's the best of the Don't best. You understand? There's this dog no is pilot better than him There's in no the entire world. There's no way win a dog fight. <laughs> Looks like we got a dog fight, Professor. Your pilot doesn't have a chance. Oh, he's got me. He's running, sir. Head out to sea, two miles out. Whoa, look at that little jet! Dog jet, headed out to sea, F-16s in pursuit. Look at that dog go! Run, little doggy! Go, little doggy! Look at him run! He's not running. He's not running, Colonel. Look at him running out to sea! Dr. Park, two men up out, directly below him. He's taking a pilot out to sea, but when he shoots him down, the jet wreckage doesn't crash into somebody's home. But are you crazy, Professor? I'm at number six. That's it, Nigel! Get behind him! Get behind him! Speed, speed, 800 miles an hour, he's diving. Run, little doggy, run! 35,000 feet, 2 miles off the Pacific Coast and diving. Out of the 35,000 feet. Out of the 30,000 feet, speed. Out of the 25,000 feet, speed, Mark 1. F-16's moving in. What is he waiting for? F-16 directly behind. Destroy! F-16 going in for a job. He's thinking I'm going to go. Sidewinder missile. Sidewinder missile, sir. Dog jet has disappeared from radar. Dog jet gone from radar, sir. <laughs> Dog jet's gone. All its all. Yeah. Mission accomplished on the greatest. Nigel Fox headed back to space. What do you think about that, Professor, huh? Dog jet, back on the radar, sir. What? It's so good. Dog jet, I don't know, it's only a caliber machine gun. He's firing. Run with it, Nigel. S-16 reporting. Holy God, it's a machine gun fire. Yes, sir. 
because you stuck him here under arrest. For what? For what? Attempted murder on a Navy pilot, you destroyed a $22 million fighter jet, not to mention a $2.5 billion nuclear submarine. It wasn't my fault. It was your time fire first. By the way, does that dog have a life? MPs here immediately to arrest Professor Strickham. When that dog lands, put him in the box and put these on him. Professor, one more over. All right, Professor, one more over. I want to make sure we get this right. 